Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Kyle King. I'm the Managing Director of Capacity Building International, and welcome to our next webinar in our 2021 webinar series on international models and emergency management, and done in collaboration with the International Emergency Management Society, and also sponsored by the Institute for Security Governance. So today we are going to be covering the country of Kosovo, and so discussing their international emergency management model and their systems and their national procedures. Now, before we get started, um, just to let you know, of course, we're gonna be joined by Nehat, uh, and also I'm here as usual with Harold. And Harold, how are you today? I'm fine, looking forward for this presentation. So am I. So uh, basically, again, it, as you have probably seen since you may have attended our previous webinars, we are now on number 13 of 25 events, and we have 1,141 attendees across 64 nations. And just a few quick points before we get started is that if you could just let us know where you're joining from, because we are tracking the countries and we're looking at how far these webinars spread across the international community. So it'd be great to understand where you're from. And also just do that by dropping, it, uh, dropping uh, your message or your location in the chat. And of course, the Q&A feature is what we're using when we're asking questions during the webinar series because it actually allows us to run a Q&A question and a report, question and answer report once the webinar series is done. And that allows us to also upload any additional questions that didn't get answered during the webinar series itself into our LinkedIn group. And this is where we had this LinkedIn event information. All the information that we have from the webinar series is posted here within this group. And this is, if you haven't done so already, please join that LinkedIn group because it allows us to also just put in uh, the recordings, the messages, the presentations, and other links like that that are related to the 2021 series inside that group as well. It allows us, instead of just spamming you constantly with emails about things when things are updated, but to just send a little notification to uh, your LinkedIn profile. And that seems to work best, uh, at least in the way that we're using it and with the diverse community that we've already built from this webinar series already. So go ahead and join the other 300 plus emergency managers in the community there, and we'll keep you informed of what's going on. Now, future webinars, as we mentioned today, we are discussing Kosovo, and then coming up is the Pacific Disaster Center. Then we have Italy, South Africa, Germany, and of course our future emergency management series that is going to be done uh, with the University of Manchester. And that will be something to look forward to. Now, before we get started, I wanted to mention just a couple of professional development opportunities that are coming up in case you are interested in uh, expanding your international sort of perspectives on emergency management. And the first of which is, of course, the TEAMS TQC and TQAC certification program. And the TQC is a, a certification for individual emergency managers with a nationally recognized uh, professional certification or other individuals with documented competence and experience, practical or academic and international emergency and disaster management. And then, of course, the TQAC is for individuals with an emer education emergency management, but who are lacking the practical experience as required by the TQC. So if you're interested in these qualification standards and what's going on with Teams, then certainly reach out to them in their website. You can see that uh, below on the slide at teams.info and head over there and take a look at the TQC and TQAC certifications, which are really focused on global competencies in emergency management, sharing of best practices, and supporting the ideas of international collaboration, and ideally eventually leading to a common language, knowledge and understanding of emergency and disaster management, and using those international standards where they're available to do so. So take a look at those. It's, it's quite interesting in terms of expanding your international profile and your dossier. Now, in addition to that, at CBI, we also teach the NATO Crisis Management Disaster Response course at the University of California, Irvine. We're starting our fall semester. That's gonna be starting around September 20th, I believe, if I remember correctly. And completing that Crisis Management Disaster Response course, you get the UCI Professional Development Certificate, but you also get a NATO certificate from the NATO Center of Excellence, our partner in delivering this course. And the enrollment is now open and the course starts in September. So if you are interested, go ahead and head over to that link at the bottom and we'll post that as well into the LinkedIn group and also throughout this webinar today in case you want to just pop over there and take a look. Now, Neha, I'm sorry, I seem to have left your name off the, the presentation here, so apologies for that. But now I will turn it over to Nehat and who will give us an overview of Kosovo. So Nehat, over to you. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you to all of you for, for great opportunity to share our, our achievement or challenges 
faced Kosovo emergency management system from the beginning. Uh, that beginning was not a, a lot of years before that from 2000 we start with uh, the creation or develop or build this uh, the system of emergency management and that we believe that uh, we try to keep in right track or right way our our future development hello once again to all of you and great thanks to you kyle and to mr Drager for for this opportunity to share worldwide our our emergency management system our challenges and our hopes for the future for the future development i will try to get uh, to get or to share with all of you the main main uh, achievement or our main structure developed before in which track we try to build a uh, future future efforts or future capability before I'm starting with presentation in field or in emergency management system, Kosovo emergency management system, I would like to, to share some, some or very important notice uh, uh, for, for this day, regarding this day. One of them that uh, the uh, Olympic Games was started today, and I wish to all countries and their, their representatives to, to get in, in the, this uh, well-known competition to get their their competition healthy and get back in their their home home country also healthy and the second one which is from my perspective very important that uh, i express uh, my condolences and and the the, my, uh, the people of kosovo condolences for the 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 families or or countries which was hit by the, 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 the hard uh, disaster made by nature, especially in the last time, started from the Californians' fires, Europeans' uh, uh, floods, and, and, and the, uh, all the all the, all the effects of, of very dis, uh, destroyed effects of, of disa natural disasters, and also to China or uh, Tokyo, Japan, and other countries. After that, uh, emergency management system uh, in Kosovo was started two decades before, exactly after after the ninety nine after the ninety nine, and uh, in two thousand under the mission of uh, United Nation, we uh, as a country started to build our capability in all other areas, also in uh, civil protection or emergency management. So. Uh, today, I will share with all of you the system uh, of emergency management country Kosovo, mission, organization, mandate, uh, and emergency operation and coordination. Where is the Kosovo located in the, uh, in the Europe exactly or, or in the globe? It is uh, the country located in the southeast part of the Europe, exactly Balkan Peninsula. Uh, in uh, uh, bordered with the, the neighbor countries as uh, Albania in the west, Serbia in the north, Montenegro in the north west, and Macedonia in the southeast. Uh, with uh, one point round of one point million peoples and uh, with around of eleven um, kilometer squares of space. Our uh, political system is uh, uh, developed and built based on the modern de democracy and the constitutional order is uh, par uh, uh, part of our constitutional order or uh, legislative part, executive part and judiciary part, which uh, represent all of them as, as a part of constitutional order or independent from each other. It will serve for all who met with Kosovo or with their uh, with the Kosovo post or actual history to know where Kosovo is and how we try to build our hope or or, or our future. Uh, as a part of uh, executive institution, is uh, also the main uh, responsible uh, emergency management agency, which is a country lead institution to. Uh, 
lead country effort in preparedness, in prevention, preparedness, response, and recovery. Uh, absolutely, mitigation is part of of of, of this of this context. Except uh, EMA, as we know in uh, international context, emergency management agency, or all other uh, institution under the Ministry of Internal Affairs. And uh, the place of emergency management agency was till 2006 in, uh, under umbrella of uh, Ministry of Internal Affairs. Before we was uh, under the Ministry of Public Service. And before that, in the same beginning, it was as an independent body or, or, or institution, which was uh, uh, main responsible to treat any, any uh, emergencies or disaster natural and man-made. We can move forward shortly, as I promised, at the same beginning, and uh, represent our, our EMA, our uh, main institution, which is responsible for, for uh, man, uh, natural and man-made uh, disasters. Uh, shortly on the, on the slide, showed on behalf of you, or in front of you, or all of us, the parliament of Kosovo uh, has established the following goals for Kosovo security, which are, first of all, to protect life and health of the population or citizens, to protect society from functionality, and third one, and to safeguard our ability to maintain our fundamental values such as democracy, rule of law, and human humanitarian rights and freedoms. What threatens any of the above goals is security threats. With this definition, our safety is also threatened by natural and man-made disasters. IMA is the main state or country body uh, responsible in this field has a vision for a safer society in a changing world. We are uh, witnessed or, or, or uh, we faced every god day with the the product of uh, clim climate change first of all we believe and all the development which are very fast and growths are very uh, also very fast compared with the, the climate change and the, the fast development urban uh, areas especially uh, institutions responsible for emergency management are faced with the most challenging uh, action which must take uh, in consideration the the dynamic dynamic uh, actions which must taken before in sense of prevention or reduce the uh, loss of lives and the 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 loss of poverty or, or, or property, I mean, and the, uh, the and environment losses also. Kosovo is, uh, uh, as a country, mostly affected by the, the forest fires from previous experience and the flash, uh, flash floods, especially. I will, I will try to get the, a little more uh, describe, uh, describe about the, each, each uh, type of, of uh, disasters occurred Kosovo in the past period. And the last one which occurred this year, it was uh, flash floods from the January, uh, from the mid of the January up to the, to the, the uh, fourth week of same month. Also, Kosovo is hit in the previous or, or in, the, in the past by the earthquake and from the uh, snow avalanche. It was uh, uh, 2011 when the uh, snow avalanche, uh, avalanche uh, uh, hit one small village in the southwest part of Kosovo. And when we was lost uh, ten lives, and just one one daughter, one child was uh, saved from from this uh, from this uh, avalanche. <clears throat> Ema, Ema as uh, 
as a main main state body responsible for for, for this field is uh, uh, properly uh, is trying properly to build the, their their capability and, and uh, capacity to redu reduce the risk or vulnerabilities vulnerabilities of society develop the ability of society to deal with disaster and emergencies through through a lot of courses uh, exercise and training and strengths coordination and directing the managing of disaster crisis uh, and emergencies through a uh, unique emergency management uh, and coordination coordination system built through the in in uh, started with build, uh, build and develop capability in 2001 based on 112 number and uh, it is as a, as a main main coordination system responsible to coordinate any any type or any uh, scale of emergency from the base to the, the, the government level. So, as I mentioned before, IMA, IMA's mission is to support the citizens and first responders to ensure that they work together as one body with the aim of developing, maintaining, and enhancing our capacity to prepare for, protect against, respond to, and recover from all type of possible risks. Uh, I will also, in the coming, coming slides, to show a little more about all of the function or all of the, the our, our main responsibility inside of, of mission. The logo of EMA you can saw before and in the previous slide also it is uh, the, the same with uh, I believe the many countries which accept as a civil protection uh, uh, logo and uh, the first response uh, response or responders we treat uh, uh, police forces, local police force, fire and rescue units, and uh, medical emergency teams. Yes. In continuous, we as EMA care about the, the, the prevention or take uh, actions most needed to prevent, to prevent from a uh, uh, any disaster or crisis. In this context, we are very sustainable and try to execute our main mission area, our mission role is to make operators better prepared to carry, carry out fire and accident prevention work, have a continuity in social vital functions, manage hazardous substances and manage information Securely, in sense of or in context of management of disaster and crisis, EMA take a care about to make the operators better prepared to carry out a rescue operation, act coordinated during disaster and crisis, and support the continuity of government operation in case of devastating disasters. So. IMA, in brief, is, as it showed in this slide, about 175 staff members located in six main cities, Pristina, Mitrovica, South and North Bay, Prison and Juran. We run five fixed uh, and mobile, we run five, uh, fixed and uh, mobile, mobile training courses over of uh, 215 for past years in 2020 for individuals and, and the, the organization or institutions. EMA is, uh, is a government authority under the Ministry of Internal Affairs, as I explained before, and EMA's general director is Mr. Fadil Kodra. So we move. Our organizational structure look like in this slide. That, as I promised in the same beginning, 
we care about each type of uh, disaster from the prevention to the recovery phase. Regarding this, uh, the, uh, that uh, this, uh, this, uh, the decision to make a care about each phase of development for each type of disasters or, or risk, we uh, established uh, and uh, our organizational structure of uh, the, the main main responsible body, main responsible country body. Uh, it uh, is managed by the, the general director and his deputy, and all, also with the two two uh, part uh, as EMA operation and coordination center, and the management and support staff where I am uh, employed. The last one in the last uh, uh, last part of this this. Uh, Mm, how can I call the, the management and support staff? Prevention and the department care about risk identification and risk reduction measures. Regard this, uh, regarding this uh, pr uh, concept, this department with their uh, experts inside of the Department of Prevention care about a lot of action in risk uh, assessment countrywide and risk reduction or risk reduction from each type of, of uh, disasters. Preparedness department is uh, also responsible to prepare country, country uh, assets to get well prepared in local and, and national level. And uh, he do their, uh, their job through training courses and exercise country level and the local level also. Operation dep department is responsible to care about coordination of uh, support in uh, on site for each uh, piece of, of the country of or territory of Kosovo uh, made by may or uh, inside of this department are all six EOCs which means uh, emergency operation centers in use 24 seven, free of charge on uh, all incoming calls on 112, which is well rec recognized as a European emergency number. And uh, the, the next department is fire rescue department, which care about the, the standards programs and the, the, the legal base of fire and rescue units Kosovo-wide. The last one, and most important, I believe, that the, the Department for General Service and Finance and Budget. Budget, I mean. In my operational mission is to serve as the main hub for overall coordination and management of emergency and crisis. In the previous period, we played and we execute this role with, I believe, huge responsibility because I was part of the EMAB from the same beginning. And we try really to, to get uh, our, our uh, building and develop our capability on, uh, and uh, Uh, in common, uh, I would say to, to meet the uh, weight or, or, or hope of citizens to be to live to live uh, safety and secure in in Kosovo. EMA's operational uh, mission three roles or main roles is as I, I said before to strengthen strength society during disaster crisis and emergencies. First of all, to strengthen national preparedness drives first responders joint management and strengths first responders with training and competence. Uh, our responsibility are based on, on the legal, legal acts or uh, legal uh, norms which are uh, in, the, in the permanent and current development of emergency management strategy and policy. In this sense, we built uh, a 2006, uh, 12, uh, 
up to 2016, the risk reduction strategy. Same one we reviewed at 2017 up to 2020, and we start this year to review another uh, to to review once again strategy risk reduction strategy and plan of action for 2021 to 2025. We do also risk assessment countrywide and locally and national response plan, which is a main document based on we built our practice of uh, uh, emergency management from the local base, from lo uh, local or municipality base to the country or government uh, level. Full implementation of the European standards and civil preparedness and emergency response in Kosovo, advice government and public authorities on uh, preparedness and emergency response and raising public awareness about emergency number 112. I saw that this time I'm, I, I must to get must a little faster than before. Source of, source of our mandate are law of emergency management agency, law of protection against natural and local disaster, law of fire protection, law of fire rescue, natural and local disaster risk assessment, national on a risk reduction strategy and action plan, integrated emergency management system and national response plan, which is, from my perspective, main and very, very uh, important document uh, needed for our country to get their uh, review based on and the exercise and, uh, and the, the main or real emergency in, in field and the regu regulation administrative orders resulting from this laws. EMA uh, Emergency Operation Coordination Center function. I believe as in any country where the EOC are in, 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 in uh, force, uh, is to receive, analyze and disseminate incident information from the same beginning. To find, prioritize, dislocate and follow up incident critical resource and to strengthen national decision making, multi agency communication, coordination, and collaboration. All of them are part of the integrated emergency management system as a base document and the national response plan, which is in use. And we hope that as soon as possible, uh, as possible, we will try, we will get to uh, review and update as a national response plan. Uh, communication and coordination or, or tools or system framework of communication is based, as I told before, on, on, the, on the, the emergency operation centers, which are located in, in six main cities, and those are responsible for all the municipalities around of the, the, those, those six uh, main cities. Number 112 is in use from 2001. And it is in continuing use 24 7, free of charge, uh, uh, able to all citizens, uh, Kosovo wide. Other communication uh, tools are internet communication, email or voice over IP, communication through fix, fixed or mob, mobile telephony, and communication through, through ra radio links. Except those in the international communication with you or uh, DGEC or ERCC, we are in permanent communication with this body and coordinate our needs or expect, expectation if for, for real disaster or for uh, assistance in case, of, in case of emergency occurred Kosovo or neighbor, neighbor countries. As I told before uh, about uh, the, our concept of uh, dealing with emergencies, it is based on first response unit, second one, and we await that we we can uh, and uh, we we put as a opportunity of the third one. Third one will be in any case the uh, K four K four presence in Kosovo actually, or in the next future maybe international assistance in in the main main disaster uh, hit Kosovo. We hope never it wasn't be. 
early warning uh, system partners or which are in close and permanent communication with EMA headquarters or EMA uh, operation center or Hydrometeorological Institute, Institute of Kosovo, National Institute of Public Health, Kosovo Seismic Institute and others as appreciate, which are linked with the EMIOC and we are in permanent communication with those, those main responsible body. How we deal with uh, or with uh, the emergencies or incident or process of incident management from local base? Uh, our legal legal base obligate all municipalities to uh, do their uh, their risk assessment for for municipality level, and based on risk assessment to create or develop their uh, emergency operation plans. In this case, and for a municipality which has achieved to, to, to establish uh, or achieve this step of development, they must do the next step as in algorithm is shown in, in, this, in this slide. Active, uh, implement emergency operation plans, activate their local emer uh, emergency operation sets, declares local emergency and issues warning and evacuation and announcement. Establish common post conduct damage damage assessment set incident objectives against tactical operation. Manage incident resource all. Always I'm uh, talking about the local or municipality. In this case, where uh, when one municipality uh, has. Uh, the emergency grows more than their capability, they must activate their mutual aid, aid, aid uh, agreement. And the last one requests central support, central level of support. It means through EMA EOC request the government support for local incident. And next one will show how it's, uh, it's, uh, the central level to, uh, could be involved in the uh, in the crisis or emergency based on on this on this uh, algorithm which is or what is most important based on on real cases i will share with you the the maybe three 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 most important most most important uh, issues this one Interinstitutional uh, management group or coordination group, which was established based on national response plan, and which was in the real COVID-19 management very uh, active and very uh, useful as a tools as a mechanism, which was be in service of Ministry of Health and Kosovo Institute of Public Health to support with all needed support except the health issues. It means that uh, MIA, Ministry of Internal Affairs Operation Center, coordinate all support needed, uh, support needed to, to ministry or health issues. And the second one is where we looked here before the declaration of state of emergency, when the, the Kosovo Security Council move from the previous status to another one from the pre previous status which is uh, which serve as a country hub to to for for creation of policy of the security sector to move in step forward and uh, be a executive organ or, or mechanism and manage with situation when the uh, when the state of emergency is declared in this situation, in this hypothetical situation, emergency operation centers of EMA and MIA will serve as, uh, as a supporters to uh, Security Council of Kosovo. And third one, when we uh, when we serve as a, as a country in a sense of host national support. In sense of uh, in sense of when the emergency uh, uh, 
is without or, or more than our country capability, and we need we need uh, support or, or help uh, with uh, from uh, abroad from other countries. In this uh, in this in the situation of needed support from from the the outside, also Ministry of Foreign Affairs are part of of this uh, of this issue. And EMA is uh, also a main or country coordinator of help and support. I believe that the most most uh, important things I, sh I share with you. So this last, not last, <clears throat> some of uh, most uh, frequent uh, natural natural disaster hit at Kosovo in in past past period. I will share shortly with you the flood which uh, hit Kosovo in the beginning of this year. And uh, you, you can see the, the river basins, which are uh, located from the north to the south and from the west to the southeast in, in, in this map. The flooded area was, uh, was mostly in, in the Sitnica River, which is close to the Kek we call it KEC, it, uh, it is a main source of electro distribution for Kosovo, produce and electro distribution. And the, the uh, city of Vustri, which was affected for uh, in, in period of, of, of January of this year for more than hundreds of, year, uh, of houses and for more than thousand hectares of, of agric agricultural uh, space. Uh, some view how is look at the, in in the, the 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 January of between uh, eleven and twelve of January to twenty uh, of of this of this year. It's the wrong date as a year. It's not twenty twenty. It's twenty twenty one. Vustria is the most affected affected territory, and uh, except Vustria was and Brennus which was also with the huge losses and damages in, in properties and agriculture. Thanks God, it wasn't uh, any, any uh, human losses and we are, we are happy for, for, for this, for uh, this uh, results with, with human uh, lives. Both forest fires and uh, the, the as a natural disaster, wasn't uh, the two main 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 uh, forest fire hit at the Koritnik uh, or Shari Shari mountains at 2012. Before this was uh, the the main uh, forest fires also at 2007, where the Koso was without uh, with was in the big trouble and EMA also to manage the situation as, as a force fire. And we ask in those period uh, support or help from the K4 from, uh, to, to, to su support in forest fires. And the last one for this, for, for yes, sorry, some, some view about the damage caused by, by the forest fires in 2007 and 2012. And the last one for this presentation, how we deal in, in uh, how, how we managed the COVID-19 from the same beginning till now, till, to, till today. I, I told uh, shortly about inter-institutional coordination gr group, which is under the Minister of Internal Affairs and the Operation Center of Minister uh, Ministry of Internal Affairs, which was uh, the main hub to coordinate all support for Ministry of Health. Yeah, thanks, Nav. Really appreciate that. We might want to leave your slides up for a second because we have quite a few questions for you. Yes. Okay. I'm here. Uh, first question is, does the Emergency Management Agency, EMA, also cover cyber threats? No. Answer is no, but for this uh, this kind of threats is uh, some 
other agency uh, linked permanently with EMA, we called ASHE. ASHE, it is an association of uh, service of, of uh, information. I can translate right now, ASHE. It is an institution main responsible for, for cyber threats. Okay. Yeah. And in your presentation, you mentioned 175 staff in, in yeah. the agency and in, in the merchant management agency. Does that include staff in all six of the, the cities or the regions that you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah. It includes okay. the staff of uh, EOCs because EOCs are directly uh, linked with EMA. EMA headquarter or EMA as a structure, and those uh, those capability report daily to 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 EMA EOC in, in this sense, and those are our staff. Okay. Except okay. except except uh, coordination uh, capability. Kosovo has a response capability which we uh, as I uh, as I uh, try to, to to describe from the same beginning. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, police uh, sources, which are not under our our umbrella, but are engaged fully in in coordination with FEMA, fire and rescue service, which is which is under EMA umbrella, and emergency medical care, which are uh, which are interlinked permanently with EMA requests for for support and uh, assistance. Uh, okay. Capability in fire and rescue service as a professional, professional units are round of thousand, Kosovo wide, as a professional unit, and as a uh, Red Cross capability to provide assistance in in, in psychological care or uh, social care in, in disasters are also around a thousand volunteers. And those are the capability which we put in, in, in action in case of needs. Okay, all right, thanks for that. Okay. And do you have a defined incident command system? Yes, great. Theoretically, we, we has defined very well on, on, in our <laughs> legal base, but we, are, uh, we have a long way to implement and to test. As, as, a, as, a, as a way of management or, or dealing with emergency. It is a, it is a incident command system is part of national response plan and uh, integrated emergency management system also from 2010, uh, 10, yes. Okay. And in terms of preparedness for, and response for natural disasters, such as floods, uh, like you've mentioned flood, um, landslides, earthquakes, etc. Does the emergency management agency have an adequate budget for actions prior to striking of such disasters? So, in the sort of in the mitigation or prevention side, and so it, that's a question about the budget and the funding. And, and then, what kinds of preparedness and response plans are in place? Uh, shortly, I can share with you that uh, the. Uh, question about budget. I believe that each country worldwide faced with a lot of uh, missed uh, budget for, for, for prevention and preparedness. And Kosovo also. We, we need a lot of much more that we have in use uh, budget to, to, to care about prevention phase, especially from floods, for example, or forest fires in this case. And uh, the pre preparedness, uh, preparedness action we uh, taken in Kosovo from previous period, and we try to execute permanently are the the, the the courses, training, and exercise based on different scenarios, on uh, based on on different level of development for each scenarios. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next. Next question is: um, How and who issues warnings and evacuation announcements? Yeah, we are in good way to to build some capability about warning in in, in last last maybe couple of years last last few years, especially in uh, started from 2000, 2020, We started with National Forest Fire Information System as part of, of early warning system from fi fires, 
but from the the for the earthquakes, for example, and from floods, the the main authorities, as a Kosovo Hydrometeorological Institute, build the proper proper capability, and they are in process of development. But what is a challenge a challenge of Kosovo in this in this uh, context that uh, the the information flow from the source of production to the citizens to the potential uh, affected citizens and we are in the process to build this capability and to go to move information as fast as possible from the producers to the citizens through our through our eoc system through our ema eoc system Okay, so are you saying that eventually that the emergency management agency would be responsible once the system is uh, more developed, I guess? Or is yeah. that still going to go? Okay. Yeah, 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 absolutely. We are, we are in good way to, to make, make right, uh, make right uh, direction and, and keep right direction of development, each capability most needed for country. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, so we have two more questions. Uh, so please explain the strategies that you're because you have mentioned in your presentation wildfires and forest fires and and so that's uh, what is some of your strategies to cope with forest fires from a Kosovo perspective? Could you be could you be more 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 acceptable with question once again, please, Kyle? Yeah, you mentioned forest fires and during your presentation as being one of the main hazards for Kosovo. Yeah. What are some of yeah. the strategies that Kosovo uses to deal with forest fires? We, as I told before, the, the strategy of risk reduction measures, we mean that build, build the, on the forest uh, spaces or surface to build the, the ways of uh, uh, unseparate risk from uh, one part to another one. Because the forest fires, fires, we know very well that forest fires know to spread very, very, very fast and to, uh, the, to, to create a lot of damage based on natural conditions or without the, the, the border between the, the, some, some territory under, under the, the forestry. And they worked on, to build the or separate uh, spaces inside of the forestry forestry of Kosovo, if it was uh, your question. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that, that's part of it. Yeah, definitely. Um, next question and, is and and another one, another one. As I told before, yeah. it it is a create of the national forest fire information system, which oh. will, mm -hmm. will serve as an early warning system. And to, to, to keep sources in readiness and to respond in the same beginning of the each, each, each case. Okay, very good. And uh, another question is you've got lots of questions for this. Uh, You're webinar. welcome. Just do it. I, I'm here. <laughs> I'm very ready to provide what oh, I very know good. the best from my side, also. All right. Um, what role, if any, does the private sector? have in supporting the EMA mission. And I would have to say at this point, so one of my colleagues, uh, Joel Thomas, just released the public-private partnership document that they drafted yes, in, yes, in yes. with FEMA. But what um, what role does the private sector in Kosovo have in supporting great, the EMA mission? Great, great question. We care about this, this topic from the same beginning. And we integrate the private sector as a part of our uh, legal base. And uh, as I told before, that each municipality has a uh, main responsibility to, to, to evaluate or to do risk assessment. In this sense, they are obligated to create an uh, MO, MO, uh, memo of understanding with all uh, the local capability in use. In this context, they are obligated to create uh, some, some a strong relationship in case of needs and to engage those for each each disaster it was a response on your question so you have an mou with the private sector to help them 
yeah, mobilize yeah. and utilization of resources between right. municipality based or based institution and private sector inside of each municipality. Okay, so that everything occurs at the agreement levels at that at the municipality level, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and for country level uh, or governmental level, it's another another issues for sources, which are mostly regarding to critical infrastructure or to protect uh, protect uh, critical infrastructure, uh, as uh, EMA in this case will will uh, do this MOU with the main main responsible private sector uh, capability. Okay. All right, so we're getting close to time. I've got one, just less one, one question, and um, it's an interesting one, and we'll we'll see how we can answer it. But, You're welcome. Um, how does Kosovo crisis management deal with the current and or previous situation of refugees and displaced persons? Yeah, yeah. Also, great question, which I didn't took as as a, as as a real case. We was in in, in the real real uh, IDP crisis. We can call when uh, the the earthquake hit uh, Albania, part of Albania, and uh, for one or for twenty four hours, we accept more than four thousand four thousand refugees, and it was a uh, really really. Terrible situation to manage, to manage or, or, or to uh, lead the, the proper actions and care about about the, the IDPs. Uh, our experience regarding this this uh, this case, real case, I could say, and previous with other uh, refugees, which are continuous to coming with the from the the. the Syria, Iraq, or other countries managed by the directorate uh, uh, responsible for refugees, because under the Ministry of Internal Affairs are the department uh, exactly for 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 this uh, this kind of issue and responsible to care about. But we, as EMA, always involved in sense of management. In sense of providing care, in sense of finding f finding the, the the shelters or other medical cares for for refugees. Okay, great. That sounds like it was a huge challenge. Yeah. Okay, we're was. we're just about out of time, Harold. I'll just uh, toss it over to you. Do you have any final thoughts? Yeah, I think this was interesting to see how a young country. Um, as a as a formal country, uh, deal with emergency management and a small population. I think comparing this with the larger nations we have presented, this is quite interesting, and how we can learn from each other. I think this was great. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Mr. Draghi. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Matt. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks, everyone, for attending. And of course, uh, the uh, this webinar series is sponsored by the Institute for Security Governance. If you want more information about uh, the Institute or ISG, you can, of course, go to the ISG website, which is now in the chat, as well as more information about TQC, TQAC, as well as the NATO CMDR course that's coming up. I know that's lots of acronyms for the end of a webinar, but all those links are in the chat. Feel free to follow those links and check those out. And of course, you would like, if you would like more information about ISG, there's also the contacts for uh, Mr. Scott Moreland, as well as um, Ashley Woodson over at the Naval Postgraduate School. Okay, thanks everybody. Do appreciate your time and joining us and, and we'll see you uh, next time on our next webinar series. Thanks everybody and have a great evening.